Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to my Bling Christmas Nail. So these are the bigger stones that I'm using. They're all point backs except for the snowflake. I wanted to do a little cluster. I'm going in first with my gel plate white gold. And um, once I have that on the nail, I'm using a gel plate bling on. I'm going to make a little kind of pile of it, um, really kind of raise it up high for those point backs, making sure that there's enough on there just to kind of seal them all in. My original idea was to just go in with three stones and I kind of just had extras just in case I dropped them or whatever. And um, because I couldn't find red point backs that were the same size as my clear or my green, I ended up using two of the red stones just because it just made it more even. Um, there was a bit of a kind of a blank spot and I wanted to make sure it was filled in. So I do go in with a little bit more gel just to accommodate that other uh, point back red stone. And I have this cute tiny little cluster. I do have a lot of like big stones for clusters, but this is kind of like a more salon style friendly um, sized one for people that don't want big big ones i guess so i'm going in with bling on again and i'm kind of just making a trail um i'm placing some of my bigger stones first like the snowflake and then um the white stones these uh white stones were part of the the neon collection um Beamy had them out and I did pick them up at Nove Wholesale. And then I'm kind of going in with my reds and my greens to kind of fill in and make it look cohesive. And I did move the white and the red around because I didn't want like red to be against red or green to be against green. I wanted to kind of have a little bit better of a flow than that. So I'm just going in and kind of placing um, the different sizes and um, I realized I needed a little bit more gel, but that was way too much. Um, and just making sure I have enough gel for all the stones. Um, I just need enough to go up to that kind of little bit of a bubble so that kind of cushions in there. And then you just kind of fill in the gaps, wiggle them around a little bit till you get it how you like it. And um, once you're happy with it, um, you go ahead and cure. So once that has been cured, um, I do want to take some of the bling on and make sure that any of the little kind of open bits around the cluster are filled in. I do like to use the bling on for that because I know it's not going to run out or anything. And so I'm really just kind of packing it in any little hole that might be available and kind of running it around the edges because I know myself, I hate it when anything gets snagged. So I like to seal everything in so that there's no possibility of snagging and I'm doing this in the tutorial just to kind of show you how I would do it in the salon. I'm also going to go around some of the bigger stones and the snowflake because those would be the ones that would kind of need the most security anyway and then um, if there was too much excess I would just kind of wipe that out with a dry brush so I didn't have any bulkiness on the nail. So my inspiration for doing this nail is because I was watching Amanda who who is a Swarovski educator do a little course on some kind of Christmas things and um, I was just really inspired to kind of come up with my own kind of Christmas design and just make it hella Christmassy with like red and white and green and uh, I am going in here with some shine on and going back to what I was saying is it's always fun to take classes and then just kind of get inspired to do your own thing um, so I really, really recommend taking her class. I will link her information below as well. And yeah, I'm just going in with my shine on and then making sure that I'm kind of going around the edges on a lot of the things just to make sure um, it's all tack free because the bling on isn't um, tack free. And uh, you just want to make sure everything is nice and sealed in. So this is my design all together. Um, in person, it looks way better. It's kind of hard to see because I did the sparkly background but if this was on my nail I'd be so happy because I love the bling anyway thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later bye bye